welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. <sighs> so we're in my kitchen today because Harley is in the studio doing a stream on Twitch. So a new setting for you. Just cooking myself some breakfast. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to talk to you about this lovely guitar. It is a Fender CC60 SCE Concert Natural Finish. So, I'm going to tell you how I got hold of this one, why I've got this, and I'm going to give you a review of it with some live footage of me using it, and I'm going to go through the specs and stuff like that. So, stay tuned. So basically, if you do know me, you know that I use a Yamaha APX-T2 as my main acoustic guitar and I absolutely love it. So much, I've overplayed it and I've wrecked the frets. It's no longer playable. Um, and I did a video recently where I showed a little hack that I do just to get me through the next show with some silver solder on the frets. Um, somebody saw this video and decided to send me this in the post so that I can continue to do what I do and spend the time to fix up my Yamaha. Can't thank you enough for that, it was a real shock. Um, here's me receiving it and how, <laughs> it shows you how shocked I was. Some Andersons. Okay. That's what they did. So he hasn't sent it from America, he's bought something. Andertons. Electric acoustic. Oh. Hey, this is spooky. If this is an acoustic guitar, this is spooky. Right. Spooky. Open it. Because Open my it. Knackered. Yeah, but you must have known. Aww. Oh my goodness. Do you need to get it off it, Strings. Ooh. Oh, you didn't lie about the strings then. <laughs> Oh. Oh. What the fuck? I might cry for you. I might cry myself. Oh my goodness, that's so lovely. video about me trying to patch up my frets maybe I don't know okay. what I'm a little bit speechless I'm just looking why why because you thought you <laughs> why oh my nice guy hey Shush for you, I'm not a monkey. <laughs> Hang on a minute, I'm... Play it. Okay, so specs are body style is a concert with a cutaway. Awesome. Classic design. Top is solid spruce with scalloped X bracing. Awesome. Mahogany back and sides. Now I believe that it is a laminate. Uh, but that's fine. Especially at this price point, that's quite expected. It's got a mahogany, easy for you to say, mahogany neck. 
And it's got a walnut fretboard, which is raw nice like. I do dig that. 20 frets, it's uh, nut width is 43 millimeters, pretty standard. Scale length 643 millimeters. Fishman CD Electronics with a piezo, obviously. Uh, chrome hardware, some uh, pretty decent tuners actually. Uh, quite like those. And natural finish. And that is it. So, um, has plastic pins, plastic pins. Um, it doesn't look like a plastic nut or a plastic, sorry, saddle nut, um, but I'm not 100% sure on that, but obviously works just fine. It holds its tune really well. First impressions of this when I took it out of the box was, wow, the, the build quality and the finish, I don't know if you can see how nice the whole finish on this guitar is. I cannot find a blemish anywhere. Hats off to you, Fender. It is really lovely, this whole guitar. Um, and for the price point, I mean, we're talking around 200, 250 pounds-ish. Um, it's pretty astounding. The sound. So this size guitar is nice and balanced, I really like it. The playability was great out of the box as well. I have since adjusted the truss rod slightly because it's acclimatised to my studio now. Um, and I have played it for probably about a total of about 12 hours. Um, I have changed the strings to 11 gauge Diodarios which was sent with the guitar as well. Um, so first impressions and from using it for uh, a good amount of time and playing a range of music on it from strumming to finger picking, lead and stuff like that. I'm pretty impressed. It's not bad at all. Now the pickup itself is a piezo. Uh, the EQ system is basically you have a tuner. So I don't know if you can see it on the thing. It's pretty accurate. It does the job. Um, and it's got a bass and a treble scoop and a volume. Um, I do push it through a uh, acoustic preamp and I'm going to do a second uh, video on that um, but I have got some live footage of me playing it without that and I'll show you a clip of that and then I'll show you a clip of me playing it with the acoustic uh, preamp um, and I'll do some stuff at the end as well okie dokie so we're back in studio awesome stuff so I've got the guitar plugged in to my rig I'm going through like I said before I'm going through an acoustic uh, modeler which is the Bay Ringer AD1 to one I think it is yep and I will be doing another review about that um, so look out for that one um, so I'll uh, demonstrate it with that and without that uh, I'm just going through my streaming rig um, so it's uh, how I would have it for gigging anyway so my streaming rig is like my gigging rig just online okay one thing I didn't mention was it does feature Fender's new ergonomic type easy play neck um, it is really comfortable, it's not too thin, it's not too chunky, the ends are rolled off, there's no sharp fret edges at all, um, it's really nice, uh, the frets are all really nice, there's no uh, issues anywhere that, I can, that I've can uh, come up with. So, so I'm just going to uh, go through a couple of little things, so first off we're going to start with a plectrum, I use really hard plectrums, just do some individual picking. strumming little finger picking So 
that's with obviously my Bayring uh, pedal. I'll turn it off. It sounds like this. Now the EQ on this is uh, 12 o'clock. Uh, the volume's on about 2 o'clock. It's got that typical kind of piazzo kind of sound. Which isn't terrible, you know. It's actually not horrible, I don't think. But obviously, to my ears anyway, a lot better with the, the pedal. So, verdict is, and this annoys me actually when they say this, they, they, they class this as a beginner's instrument. Um, I, I wish they wouldn't say that about any instrument because um, I would use this live, and I do use it live, as you can see. Um, it's the same with, with my Yamaha. I use that live as well. That's what they call an entry-level uh, guitar as well. I use this live, and I've toured with this and had this for years, entry-level beginner guitar. I wish they wouldn't say that. An instrument is an instrument. If it's good, it's good. It doesn't matter what it costs. Um, you can get some really good stuff for uh, not a lot of money, do you know? So this comes into that category. I would gig this with confidence. It's, it feels quality. It stays in tune. It's got Fishman doodah. Uh, like I say, if you pair it up with like the Bayringer AD121, which costs next to nothing as well, you can get a nice sound for playing live, for recording, all that kind of thing. It plays great, looks great. What more can you want? It's awesome. So I just want to say a huge thank you to the person that gave me this guitar. They wanted to stay anonymous, that's, and I, I completely respect that, um, but you don't know what it means to me uh, when people reach out like that and, and help me, and others as well. Um, <coughs> sharing the love is uh, really, uh, really dear to me. Um, so uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't thank you enough. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, put my Yamaha on my bench and I'm going to replace probably at least half the frets. I've got some stainless steel frets to go in there. But what it means is I can take my time over it and do a nice job and get that back into the uh, into the family, so to speak. Uh, so there'll be video footage on that as well. But this one is definitely here to stay. I'm digging it. I really love it. So... As promised, there's some live footage, there's there's a couple of short clips, one with me playing it when I first got it without the uh, Bayringer, and the second one with, uh, just to give you an idea, with the whole thing going with drum loops and everything else, uh, so you can hear it in a mix. Um, that concludes the video really, so one thing left to say, and that is peace till next time, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, helps me out in a big way, follow me on Twitch as well, that helps me out even further. So, um, all that said and done. Cue the jingles. Jingles? <laughs>